was uh, in much better shape than my own. She insisted on singing back up for me on the uh, 1980 tour. Uh, so this is a real friend uh, and someone who, uh, in the face, I might say, of, of great uh, derision, has always supported me. And she had always said to me that she intended to make a record of my songs. I thought this was just an expression of friendship. But she did go to record company after record company and was laughed out of most of the audit offices. It's because he dares to talk about sorrow. And the Americans, you know, in general, not the Europeans, but the Americans in general like to be, keep your sunny side up, you know? Put on your smile and like, you know, come out swinging, you know, no matter how ruined you've been. And Leonard will say, look at the shreds of my heart. It's in, I'm in shreds. <laughs> You pulled my heart out with a pair of prongs, you know. He's like acknowledging that, that this is, that, that the, whole, the whole act of living contains immense amounts of sorrow and, and hopelessness and despair and also passion and high, high hopes and deep love and eternal love. And, uh, I think that Leonard has some images, uh, saint and fire and, and ghost and... They followed Joan of Arc She came riding through the dark No moon to keep her armor bright His songs always no had the full range of emotion. There was enough meat in there that I felt like I could lend my personality to the tunes, honestly. And there were some popular songs that, although they're treasures in, the, in their in their beauty, uh, were, they just didn't have enough guts, not enough. I myself feel like I'm an intensely complex person, and, and in order to be honest in song, I had to have a complex lyric that t spoke about complex mixtures of God and sex 